your boy Isaac Reed and we're back with another video. One of my subscribers told me the one-on-one -on -one, uh, posting another video, so we're gonna get into it. I appreciate all my subscribers, man. Y'all the reason that I'm still here, man. I appreciate every last one of all of you. All of you, last one of you, every single thing. So it's called WWE 2K17 News. No female backstage bras, calm, AI, breakouts, new backstage OMG moments, and more. Now, it's kind of sad that no female has backstage bra because we see that, we've seen that more often than actual superstars like rep, like a man from the uh, past. We've seen more of that from females, but it's pretty much okay. As long as we get the backstage bra, I have no type of uh, hate for it. I'm pretty much excited, man. Um, so, uh, let's get into it. Uh, I'm just looking at a... Uh, But let's get into it. I'm pretty much I'm pretty much excited, so let's get into it. I keep saying that, fuck. What's up guys? So what the two K seventeen David keeps on rolling. And we have <coughs> even more David's information and updates today. As always though, credit where credit is due, and credit to the guys that made this information possible, their pages, videos, and forum posts will be linked down below, so feel free to check that out in full. So a lot of the information that has been coming out since yesterday's videos is stuff we've covered previously, so if you have missed any of the previous videos, then go back and take a look, as they do contain a ton of information. But as far as the stuff we haven't covered yet, I'll let you know <coughs> featured in today's video. Okay, so to kick this off, some more notes now on some stuff pre-match. It is said this year that when you choose the wrestler on the Superstar Select screen, you will get some Lillian Garcia ring announcement audio to confirm the Superstar Selection. Hey. It is also said that on the pre-match loading screen, that now features commentary. In terms of anything else pre-match, we have also got more confirmation that this year the game shows of a non-render art style, including on the Superstar Select screen. <coughs> Now, in previous That's videos, awesome. we've already gone over some pretty cool stuff in terms of new features this year for version 2 of the breakout system, which you can see in this video on the screen now. But another new detail just to add to that is that this year, in 2K17, it's actually possible for the computer-controlled superstars to break out as well. So, for me, this is a pretty awesome thing. Last year, this was limited, of course, to superstars controlled by players. So, having computer-controlled superstars yeah, have a similar team. Computer-controlling it? Is obviously that's pretty, a hey, that's dope. Touch. A couple of new updates now in regards <coughs> to the crowd fighting. As confirmation that crowd fighting is not related to any OMG moment and is actually done anytime you like by simply pressing L1 at the right location. Oh. It's also been confirmed that you can get your opponent in the crowd by doing a strong Irish whip. Similar to what we yeah, saw that's what the day, was SBR 07 and SBR 2008. Let's now go from ringside to the backstage areas with some more backstage board and updates. Now, as we saw in the recently released gameplay, as cool as it is to see the interviews and superstars in the background, a slight negative here, <coughs> as it has now been confirmed that when you take the action towards the area, Red and Young and the superstar getting interviewed, unfortunately, leave the area. So, yeah, unfortunately, said that this does mean there will be no direct interaction with Red and Young or that superstar, as some of us had hoped. In terms of backstage OMG moments this year, we already know of at least one, which of course is the Seth Rollins locker room super kick, and we can now add a second to that list, that one being a DDT through a desk in Triple H's office. Yeah. So technically, <laughs> that one too. Really some more still to come. <coughs> it's also important now that this year OMG moments are no longer done by simply pressing triangle, but instead pressing triangle alongside R1. Glad they fixed that, because I was like, like Tubby said, I was tired of doing a suplex on the, on the, on the ropes. In the same position as one of your finishers. Now, sticking to the backstage brawl stuff, unfortunately, we're going to end today's video on a negative because another detail on backstage brawling that has emerged today is that unfortunately, backstage brawl matches are not accessible for women's wrestlers. Well, so, unfortunately, bad news if you were hoping to take the women's wrestlers this year backstage and brawl because as it currently stands, that is not going to be possible. Yep. That is it for this one. Even more 2 day 17 oh, well. news and updates today. As I said previously, there has been a ton of new info in recent days. So, about as I always cool. say, keep an armor series playlist <coughs> for full coverage. Link on the screen. As always, stay tuned to the channel for plenty more 2 day 17 content coming very, very soon. And until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one. Okay, so real quick. Uh, I'm so happy that uh, they got rid of the renders for like the game. So basically, when you pick a person, Lillian Garcia says the commentary, and then 
you know, I mean, I, they, she says that she announces the name and then the commentary. That is just like SR, SVR 2007 and 2008. I'm so excited. Like, you don't know how happy I am for this. I'm really pumped. Um, real quick, uh, I'm, I am kind of sad about the no female. I did say in the beginning about the female thing. Uh, it's okay. You know, we can always get it next year. You know, it's not something we should rush it, uh, about. But I'm glad 2K is doing things totally different. I'm glad we're getting a good game this year. I mean, there's been so many times where, like, I thought 2K16 was good. But then I was like, oh, it really, it really is just a 2.0 for 15. Like, it, 2K, NBA, WWE 2K16 is really what WWE 2K15 should have been. Which I think this is going to be the officially what we actually need. Like, if we can just get this and then just move upon it every year you know it's be it'll be awesome it'd be it'd be pretty awesome and i'd be like i'd be like yeah um but yeah i will I'm, I'm gonna tell you what to look forward when 2k17 comes out and i get the game uh when i look forward to uh what, I, what you're gonna look forward to is me playing my career a lot uh i'm gonna create a character isaac reed um who else is gonna um, pretty much my career gameplay of uh, maybe some live uh, stuff pretty much that's really all you're gonna see um, and then when NBA same thing uh, man NBA is gonna be like a lot that's gonna be a lot to do uh, but I got all your subscriber support so I have nothing to worry about but uh, the one-on-one man he posted some good stuff uh, thank you to all my subscribers, like I said. We're almost at 1,500 subscribers. I will be watching NXT tonight. NXT TakeOver, I will be watching it. I know UFC 2, 202 is on tonight. I will just watch highlights from every match. Um, I've been I've been wondering, I've been trying to get a new outro done. But, because I've noticed that like my videos just end with like, bam. And I'm like, okay, you know. Uh, maybe I'll get a new outro done, who knows. But I'm out guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in any other video I post. Peace!